Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Lisa. Um, if you didn't watch my other video, I'll just say real quick, I'll do another video explaining my absence. I was sick again. It's a long story and we'll do a uh, Saturday sit down with Lisa and Ken. Today we're just going to be really doing a quick chicken cutlet. It's like a Spanish Cuban chicken cutlet. Um, it's only two ingredients. Well, minus the lemon. Um, it's served, there's no flour, no eggs. It's just a mojo chicken marinade which you get down uh, it's in the grocery store i think it's down your international aisle and um i put i put one lemon in you could put a couple lemons in i i marinate mine anywhere from a half hour to an hour the longer you marinate it you could go past the hour but the longer you marinate it the stronger the flavor becomes and um i just take that out and then put it right into seasoned italian breadcrumbs seasoned italian breadcrumbs no locatelli cheese just season Italian breadcrumbs, and it's that simple. And you could pan fry them, you could um, put them in an air fryer, or you could put them in the oven. Anything you do in the oven, you could do in your air fryer. But when you put them in an oven or air fryer, you have to spray them like with some kind of um, cooking spray. They have coconut, they have grapeseed oil, they have, oh my God, all choices out there now. So, all right guys, good seeing you all. I'm happy to be back, and here's the video. Guys, tonight I'm gonna be making my son for him to take home um my son kenny he likes this one color because he's stopping by after work um and if you see this i made a bacon lettuce tomato dip it's bacon it's lettuce it's tomato it's a mixture of uh, mayonnaise and sour cream as much as you like and, and then you you know to eat the dip you put these in there so this acts as your bread this is sea salt okay and that's a different recipe and i'll link it below this one um but this is called mojo it's a marinade i call it mojo Okay, so it's a really simple recipe. You're gonna take, I get the, these are the thinly thin sliced chicken breasts, like your chicken cutlets, okay? I have a couple packs of those. I'll season them with just salt and pepper. I'm gonna put this in this bowl. You could use up to two lemons. I'm gonna use one lemon. I already put it in the microwave, heated it up. I rolled it, it's nice and soft. That should be juicy enough. I'm only gonna marinate it for about a, let's say a half hour to an hour you could do it longer i do not the longer you do it the stronger the flavor and sometimes if you do it like too too long you start breaking down that chicken um because of the acid in the lemon um but i think i'm going to do it for like probably 45 minutes at least that's it 45 minutes um and i'll show you how you do it okay so let me just open this up and i'll be right back here we go so i'm probably going to use half the bottle you got to shake it well and you can smell the seasonings. It's very heat, heavily seasoned. And like I said earlier, it has citrus, lemon, and lime. And I can't read without glasses. Um, hang on. I was trying to look to see if it told you the spices, but it really doesn't other than garlic and salt. And like my husband said, why would they tell you their secret? Anyway, this is really, really a good marinade. So here we go. That should be plenty. And that's half the bottle. Now I'm going to squeeze one whole lemon again the first time doing it you can do my girlfriend who makes this she does four lemons i'll get the pits out last i guess but she uses four lemons um and i don't if i wanted to do that i'd be making a completely different dish See how juicy that was? Okay. Now, all I'm going to put in here is very little salt and pepper and a pinch of garlic powder. And since I'm not making Italian cooking tonight, I will not be using plain uh, breadcrumbs because I'm not going to be putting like a telly cheese in. For this dish, oops, sorry, that's my husband banging into me. Um, I'm going to be using Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. I will be adding a little bit more salt, a little pepper, and a pinch of garlic pepper. That is it. Okay, let me just add a little pepper. A little salt. And some garlic powder. Not too much. Give it a quick whisk. And that is it for the marinade. And then all I'm going to do is uh, season my 
Um, I'm gonna take the pits out, but I'm gonna season my salt, um, chicken with salt and pepper, and I'll be. Well, I'll show you in one pack. Guys, I'm getting six cutlets. I have two to the side, um, six per package. So this is, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you on one side, but I'm gonna season both sides. I'm just gonna show you one. A little salt, okay? A little pepper. And I really, you know what? I'm gonna probably, probably not. I was gonna say, when it comes out of the marinade, um, and I do this all the time, you think it's gonna wash off in the marinade, um, I gotta get my string beans off the oven. I might re-season it with a little bit of salt and pepper prior to breading them. And there's no egg mixture, no flour. It's gonna come right out of that marinade we just did, right into the seasoned breadcrumbs. That's it, it's very simple, very fast, very, very, very quick. Hey guys, I did it. I just wanted to clean up my counter with a little bleach, you know, because we had uh, raw chicken on there. It's in there, and actually, you can see, it does, I will not be putting more salt and pepper on because the seasoning does stick, okay? And I'm just gonna let this sit 45 minutes. You could do a half hour, you could do a couple of hours. Again, the longer you sit, the stronger the flavor. So, that should be plenty. And I'll come around it and just rotate it. And in case, I don't know if I already said this to you on this video, or not, um, or the, I don't think I did. I think I said it on my BLT, uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato dip video. This is potpourri. Um, I put it on a stove top, and I usually, I have it here now because I wanted it to cool. Um, so I'm using the pot um, so I wanted a big pot but anyway I'll put it on simmer and what's in this one it's lemon you know sliced lemon cinnamon sticks and a whole bunch of rosemary and it's such a pretty fragrance for your house and you just let it simmer on you know like a low really low simmer um, for as long as you want it just you know the whole house smells good so now I'm gonna let this sit and then we will be back and I'll show you the breadcrumbs so sorry if that rang in your ear Guys, now we're just going to get the breadcrumb uh, part ready for our chicken cutlets tonight. And again, this is like a what? Cuban Spanish type cutlet. And how you guys all like in the Olympics? Is anybody watching it? We are here and there. I like I like the gymnastics. I like the track and field. Um, I like archery. I, I just like it all, really, a little bit of everything. So, here we go. I'm going to use half of a 24-ounce container, maybe a little bit more. Okay, because I'd rather have too much than not enough, because if you have to re-season it, then you may not be exactly the same. So, I'd rather have um, a little too much. So, there's your breadcrumbs. Again, for this season, Italian breadcrumbs. Tonight we're having dressing, I mean a salad, so I've got to make that. And I was going to do homemade Italian dressing, but um, eh, so let me just do a uh, bottle. And if you want the recipe for homemade Italian dressing, I'll link that on the um, on your descriptions in this. So now a little bit of pepper, just a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm thinking. Hold on. Hey Ken, should I do a drop of uh, oregano or no? Just leave it. You normally do. All right. So here's just a little bit of garlic powder, not much, just a little bit, and I just mix it. And that's it. So this is gonna sit here and until I'm ready for those cutlets. Yeah. I got another like 17 minutes. And I'm gonna fry my kids, meaning my son Kenny and his wife, um, Kaylee. I'm gonna fry theirs in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of butter. And for Ken's and I, or mine, I'm gonna do ours in an air fryer. And it's funny because you know what, I actually lost weight and I was sick for a while and I couldn't eat anything for almost two weeks straight other than like a baked potato. The bottom line is, and I actually lost weight, but as soon as I could eat and I felt a little bit better, oh boy, did I eat. I ate and ate and ate and I ate all the wrong foods and all the junk food and I haven't really stopped. Not only did I gain that back, but plus some. And I wasn't able to walk, so whatever, it is what it is. Okay. Guys, you know why I'm not adding any other spices like oregano or even more parsley? This A, this is seasoned, but I gotta do my salt and pepper with a little bit of garlic powder. But you want your true flavor to come from this marinade. Because this flavor 
will penetrate into your chicken for sure. I took the chicken out of the refrigerator. Let's take a quick peek and see. That's what it looks like. Okay. I wanted to say this is going to be a full cooked meal. It's going to be your chicken is uh, my vegetable is stream beans. I made garlic stream beans again. If you want the uh, recipe, I will put that link because I've made that before under here. Um, we're going to have rice. I'm using just success instant rice, you know, a box of instant rice and our chicken and a salad and a little piece of bread. So it is a full meal. Guys, I just put one cutlet in here. I'm going to put another one. I'll show you two cutlets and then I'll do the rest of my own. And guys, just by the way, if you happen to like boiled eagles, I know some of um, my viewers said they do like it. I'm going to be posting a video about a, um, it's an eagle nest I visit in Jersey all the time, like weekly, like every couple of days. Um, but anyway, so let me get busy here. Okay, so that's it. This, this, gets, this gets no easier, guys. And it's such a shortcut, right? Because you don't have to do the flour or the eggs. That's it. Oh, and just by the way, I, I want to mention this. My granddaughter, who Gianna Marie, who's 10, gave me this beautiful ring. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. It looks like an opal. Mother of Pearl. Uh, she got one for her mother and one for herself and we were matching rings and I just love it and I treasure that the most out of all my jewelry and I got diamonds and gold I promise you that's one of my favorite pieces yes and I also have a diamond cross ring my one son gave me the one I'm actually cooking dinner for tonight and you know when it comes to your kids or your grandkids um, that's truly what you treasure most right so okay so I think you get the the hang of this, right? Just like this. Just pat it all in there firmly. Make sure everything sticks. Just like that. And then we'll just gonna shake off the axis. I'm gonna put it uh, in another container until I'm ready to fry them, and I'll show you that step. Guys, here I just wanted to show you. This is what we had left. Not much at all with using half or a little bit more than half of the container of the breadcrumbs. Guys, I'm going to get the chicken. I want to put some of the chicken cutlets in. I got my paper towel set up um, for when the chicken comes out. And I'm just shaking off the excess a little bit. This is olive oil with a little bit of vegetable oil and some butter. And it's on a medium. I'm putting it on medium high right now. And these are very thin, so they won't take too long to cook. And they're not thick. Sometimes when you get the thick ones, you have to put them in the oven to finish cooking so you don't burn them. You won't have to do that here. Okay. That's four. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna let it fry. We're not gonna play with it. We're not gonna touch it because that's how your breadcrumbs fall off. And we'll flip it. Smells good. Oh, you can really smell that mojo. Hey guys, just so you know, I didn't put the other uh, light on. Um, I was going to air fry mine in the Ken's, but he said, nah, what the heck, just fry them all together. So I'm going to do that. But if you want to air fry these, all you need to do is have like an olive oil spray. I'll show you. Hang on. I still have mine right here. You, you, uh, listen, they have grapeseed oil. They have canned coconut oil. They have many flavors now. Um, but I like my olive oil. But they have many flavors. So anyway, you would spray the bottom and the top of your chicken cutlet with that. I even do a little spray inside my air fryer, you know, on the um, on the vessel itself, I spray the bottom. But I definitely spray the top and the bottom. And that's, and that's all there is to it. Okay. My son just came but I just wanted to show you the cutlets. What's cute, my son got one that actually was carved like um, a, a heart. And this one, doesn't it look like a little fish? This little guy right here. And he looked like a fish, a little bit. Like a goldfish. Uh -uh. But anyway, that's what they look like, done. Guys, here it is. Here's our salad, just uh, 
iceberg with a little Italian blend with a potassium romaine. Um, there's a little red cabbage, a little red onion, cute Persian cucumbers, tomatoes. Oh, hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, I guess I'll do it when I'm on camera. Aha, I forgot croutons. Okay, let's make it look a little prettier. Okay, croutons. Um, and that cheese is mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. And here is our dinner. We got a piece of Italian bread with melted butter. Or chicken cutlet or a Spanish Cuban mojo. Um, I call it mojo, but mojita. Is that mojita? Is that what the mojo is? It's not short for mojo. I thought it was short for something. Um, I've been making it for, oh my God, 25 years, I guess. Um, stream beans with the garlic again. I'll post the recipe if you want to. I've made it before. Um, and just buttered plain rice, instant rice to boot. But yeah. And for tonight's dinner, I'm going to have a pina colada minus the rum. Excuse the background mess. I made a huge disaster in here today, and I really haven't cleaned it. So That's because I'm going to clean it. Okay, but you're going to have to, if you want people to see your plate, you have to hire it. Almost like to your chin. Okay, that's good. How's that? Not good, but all right, go ahead. This is uh, t testing out the chicken for the hundredth, thousandth time. <laughs> My wife's chicken color, mojo. Ruffles didn't like that attitude. Mm. I just showed the mess on the counter. Not, oh, a, no. not an overpowering flavor. Very good, delicious. Just as, just as delicious as always. I just yep. showed the mess. Oh my God, Ken. All right. So, <laughs> I took that and- Guys, I'm so sorry. Green beans made with garlic and butter. Mm. Yeah. Delicious. It's the best way to eat them. All right, everybody, definitely try this recipe out. Ruffles agrees. All right, I I can't I sh I showed them the mess by accident. Are we recording? Yeah. So why?